It's Paul here from the Awesomer again, and we are taking a look at the new 2025 Volvo EX90. This is the performance dual motor model. It's an electric three row SUV. Uh, it is a performance vehicle with 510 horsepower and 671 pound feet of torque. It's got a 111 kilowatt hour battery that will take it more than 300 miles between charges. It's a smooth ride. It's quiet, it's comfortable, and it has all of what you would expect from Volvo in terms of that beautiful, minimalist Swedish design. Let's take a look. So the EX90 is a whole new look for Volvos. You'll see that the old grill is gone because we're now in the EV. We don't need all this ventilation up here in the front. Uh, we've got the Thor's Hammer headlights, and uh, there are sort of an LED segmented display here. And then as we come around, uh, this one is riding on these really sweet 22-inch wheels, very aerodynamic. I love the way those look. Uh, we've got a little Volvo badging up here that's kind of cool. This is the new Volvo EX90 minus its covering. We've got our front motor here, big battery sled here in the middle with all the wiring and cooling. Back here we have control module and then the rear motor as well. It's pretty neat to see it all stripped away like this, don't you think? The CCS1 port supports DC fast charging at what Volvo says is a peak of 250 kilowatts, but we suspect real world numbers will be lower. Now the interior is just as modern, clean, and minimalist as you would expect from Volvo. You've got this great sort of clean look, and you'll notice that the dash really just has these two screens here. There's a small screen behind the steering wheel, and then there's a 14 inch main vertical screen that is the primary uh, display for the multimedia system. So the material selection is just beautiful in here. I love these steel grills on the Bowers and Wilkins audio. And then the dash has a very, very thin wood veneer on it um, that's made out of a sustainable wood. And then at night, you can actually see through it and there's like a diamond shaped pattern that glows from behind. It's a really cool effect. So one thing I really do like here is this digital instrument cluster. It's attached to the steering column, so it's always at the right height, no matter how tall you are, because it moves up and down with the steering column. And it has just the right amount of information on it. In this case, we're looking at a navigation map, how many miles of range we have, and our speed. Uh, it is completely contextual, so depending on what you're doing, uh, this information may change on the display. Shifting into gear, is accomplished using a traditional column mounted shifter. So you've got, you push down for drive mode, you push up for reverse, you get our backup camera here with the top down view, and then to park, you just push in on the end. We also have, when you're driving along on the highway and you push down a second time, when you're in drive, that activates the drive assist system. So this EX90 is really, really smooth on the road, it handles quite well, and it's quiet. You don't really hear anything except a little bit of tire noise. The interior is just a very pleasant place to be, and it is quick. This twin motor performance, it'll zoom from 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds, and it's just got so much torque. It's just beautiful out here. So rather than clutter and a bunch of different displays and a bunch of knobs, Volvo went very clean with their display design here. They have one 14 inch screen in the middle. You have a single knob here that controls volume, play and pause on the audio system. You also notice there's a wireless charging tray here and everything you need to access is here on the screen. There's contextual information. So uh, this is a Google based system. Um, also under the hood, you've got some componentry from Nvidia and Qualcomm but the actual screen here is running Google OS. Because the multimedia system is powered by Google Assistant, you can use voice-based commands for a lot of different controls in this car. Uh, you can say, hey Google, increase the cabin temperature to 72 degrees. Got it, changing the temperature to 72 degrees. And it automatically adjusts the cabin temperature. You can also say, Hey Google, route me to Long Beach, California. Long Beach is 51 minutes from your location by car in moderate traffic. 
So you also have the ability to use your phone as a key to unlock and lock the EX90. You just come in this app, you press unlock, you see how the door unlocked. You can relock it by pressing here. You can also have it set to automatically lock and unlock when you approach and leave the car. So on the interior here, one thing that I do really like is this floating center console. You have all the storage space down here. Um, this is where you'll find a couple USB-C ports and there's an elastic strap here if you want to charge your phone and plug it in there. But like I mentioned before, there's a wireless charger there. Uh, this is where you're going to get a couple cup holders with a retractable lid that is more of that beautiful wood. And then kind of a small storage box here. Now I was trying to figure out how to open the glove box here. There are no buttons, switches. There is a little Swedish flag icon there if you look carefully. But the trick is that it is an icon in this touch screen. So if we hit glove box, that opens the glove compartment. So adjusting the front seats is really quite intuitive. There's a button on the side, you press it once, and it gives you access to your typical tilt and forward and backwards adjustments. If you press it a second time, it's gonna let you adjust the tilt and lumbar support, press it a third time, and you can adjust the side bolstering with a single control. The front seats in this model also have massage, which has a variety of different programs for different parts of your back. I like the combined because it kind of gets everything and you can adjust the speed and intensity and get a refreshing massage while you drive. So the premium Bowers and Wilkins audio system does sound extraordinary. It's rich and dynamic and it fills every inch of the cabin. And uh, there's even like a demonstration app here. So this Bowers and Wilkins app, it shows off what this is capable of. It is, uh, it's got built-in support for Dolby Atmos. So you can play music from Tidal or from this application in Dolby Atmos and you get this great surround sound throughout the vehicle. Um, it's hard to hear it on the phone, but it's pretty neat. It's got 25 speakers, including speakers in the headrest and a total of 1610 watts of high quality, crystal clear amplification. So you'll notice on the roof of the X90, there's a little bit of a bulge here. And what that is, it's a LiDAR sensor from the folks at Luminar, a little neat Volvo for life Easter egg there. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna eventually enable level three autonomy on highway driving. But right now it does uh, provide uh, some of the data that is fed into the safety systems. So the EX90 is available with either a three seat second row or two seat captain's chair second row. This one has the three seat, which folds in a 40, 20, 40 split. And so I'm in the second row now and uh, the leg room back here is not too bad. My knees do get a little close to the seat backs, but there are nice cutouts here. And then you have your own climate controls for the second row along with a pair of USB-C ports. And then there's one of those Bowers and Wilkins speakers, a little coat hanger rack and your own lighting for the second row as well. Um, one thing I will say is, even though the headroom is excellent because of this glass panoramic roof, I don't like that there's, there isn't a shade. And so on a really bright sunny day, even though it has some tinting on it, it doesn't black out. And so it can get kind of bright and hot. Now the third row seats are definitely for the kids. There's not a lot of leg room in the back here. So I did manage to get back here into the third row. It's definitely not for taller adults. My knees are touching the back of the seats back here. My head is touching the ceiling. But for kids, it's not a bad space. You've got cup holders back here. You've got USB-C ports. You've got your own climate vents back here. You know, two kids, smaller kids would be fine back here. Since this is an EV, you get a frunk instead of an engine up here in the front. And this has a little bit of storage space. Uh, there's some bins here. The center area is big enough for a backpack. Uh, you know, you might want to put some emergency gear up here. This is the uh, inflator if you get a flat tire. Not en enough space to like replace a trunk, but it is a little bit of extra storage. So in the back here, we have a power lift gate. Also opens with the kick of your foot underneath the rear bumper. 
you've got a small amount of space behind the third row of seats, uh, but this is a vehicle designed for seven people. So you're not gonna be expected to have a lot of room back here. If you do need room for cargo, you have power controls here. So this one will lower the left seat. This one will lower the right seat. And now you've got the third row folded down and you have a good amount of storage space back here. Volvo did a really great job here with the EX90. It's exactly what you would want from a Volvo EV. It's quiet, it's smooth, it's all about safety and sustainability. The interior has that great minimalist Swedish design that they're known for and it rides great. It handles really nicely. You've got this low center of gravity thanks to the big battery pack. That makes it drive much more like a car than a big three-row SUV. Um, it's a really nice vehicle and I've been impressed with it. There are a few little fiddly things about the touchscreen and not having tactile inputs for controlling, but overall, thumbs up. Very, very nice experience, comfortable car. Uh, the prices start around $80,000 for the first model that's gonna be available here in the States. The one that we're driving here, it's the Performance Edition. It's a little bit more tricked out and it starts at 85.